Okay, Ron, I've got a little demonstration video here for you of the uh, multi-output switch that you and I talked about a few days ago. Um, you had told me that you needed seven outputs, and the way the chip on this board that I've used is uh, laid out, I decided to just go ahead and make use of an extra pin that we had on that side. So this is actually going to have eight outputs. So uh, you can use the eighth one if you need it, and if you don't, of course, you don't have to use it. This is the main circuit board, and you'll see I've got four LEDs right now on channels one, two, three, and four. Channels five, six, seven, and eight, I don't have anything on them because I just didn't want to solder up that many LEDs but you'll see how the circuit works here and I think you'll be satisfied. I've checked all the channels to make sure that they are working. Uh, this is my little receiver and I'm using a five volt battery, um, but if you've got 12 volt LEDs and a 12 volt battery, it'll work just the same. The circuit doesn't care what you're switching. I'm just using the five volts because that's the size of the resistor that's on the LEDs right now. And of course, this is my transmitter. Now I've got it set to use this spring-loaded switch on the back here. So you'll see how it works. When the unit comes on, you get the yellow light telling you that you have power to the board. And then every time you toggle the switch, one output will come on. That's one, two, three, four. That would be five six, seven, eight, and then all will be off. Now, <clears throat> you can also hold the switch down. Let's say you've got them all off and you know that you want uh, three or four of them on, you can hold the switch down and they will run up, as you just now saw, five, six, seven, eight, and now it's off. So <clears throat> every time you toggle the switch, soon as you see that circuit come on release the switch there's a bit of a delay there so that you don't have to do the switch real fast uh, generally speaking let me get them all back off again here should be off there um, generally speaking just hold the switch just long enough to see the channel come on and then turn it loose and you'll get the timing it's about a just hold it down about a second and it'll go from channel to channel now that would be five six, seven, eight, and all off. So um, that's, how it, that's how it works. I'm gonna upload this video to YouTube and let you take a look at it and make sure that it's doing what you want it to do. You do have transistors. That's the little row of black things there that are buffering the output. So you'll be able to put about an amp on each one of those outputs with no problem at all. And I guarantee you, you're not going to burn anything up on this one. So I'll get this on the way to you. And uh, I also uh, think you ordered an arming plug and some uh, XT90s. And I'll have them ready to go also. Should go out first thing in the morning. All righty. Thanks, Ron.